sounds on. All right, so welcome to Rainy Tuesday. Um, hopefully all this rain will make the grass grow nice and green. Wipe it all away. That's what I think of every time it rains. I'm like, we need it for the grass on flat field. Um, so let's see who's let's see who's the good dog of the day today. Definitely uh, Cole is really great. Uh, really good dog, really good focus, good eye contact, not really afraid of anything. They're all at that stage where they're just almost fearless. Um, so that's really good. All the pups are doing really, really well, which is great, all getting out. Um, the only one, like I said, that's a little standoffish is Danica, but I think she's just a thinker. I think she's just overthinking every situation and she takes a second like, oh, okay, and then she walks through fine. She doesn't ever put up a fight over anything she's just always off to the side thinking about it um so that's good but yeah all the pups are just where they should be um doing really well the only one that needs an adjustment down there is Hayden with his vocalness um he barks like crazy so we need to try and get on that um we were all kind of making a monster by letting him out when he was barking and now he just barks and barks and barks and barks and barks like today I don't know if you guys saw me I was feeding inside down there today and I um normally the cams on I mean when I'm down there when I'm doing indoor stuff I have dogs all around and I was walking back and forth and I had Walter and Martina and I had hiding over next to Lucy on Donkey Hill and he just barked and barked and barked and barked and barked and barked and barked after he ate and he just barked and barked and barked and barked and barked it was about we're going on 15 minutes. I shut the door and I so you couldn't see me on cam. I wasn't shutting it because I was doing something weird in there. I just shut the door and turned the radio up wicked loud. <laughs> Tried to ignore him. Steve came in and he was like, what is going on in here? I was like, just, you know, <laughs> trying to get him to shut up. And he got himself into such a barking frenzy that he pooped everywhere. Like he's just so, um. Hopefully, we'll get that under control. So. Is Magnus completely recovered? Magnus has been three days off of all medic all medications. So we will know in a few days if his pneumonia comes back. And if it does, George wants to do a barium test on him. I don't really want to. Um, so we'll just see what happens. Hi, Megan. Hope um, it does do well for some flat field. Need some greenery around there. Yeah, we do. Do you have any favorites from the pups? I really like the gifts. Um, all of them are really great. They just, I don't know, seem different from the athletes. So, but out of the athletes, I'd probably say Martina's really nice. Between Martina and Bolt. But the gifts are definitely my group that I think is slightly smarter than the other ones. So uh, Cole is with Colleen. So she's taking him down. Her friend is in a nursing home. So he'll be a therapy dog tonight down there with her and Oscar. And Spinner's doing really well with his friend, which is great. There's another one out the door. That means out of that 32 pups, we have one, two, three, five left, I think. Yeah, Bolt's great just different you know he's smart what is that a heart monitor thing Carleen yeah because your other one was just broken the other one is not recording it as it is supposed to be as far as I know that's unfortunate I know is it uncomfortable to wear I'm, I'm not thrilled okay yeah it itches I know the feeling <laughs> it itches I'm currently on prednisone and I just feel all I have a new respect for the dogs we put on prednisone let's just say that I it just makes me feel so weird 
Does Spinner have an angel harness? Yes, he got a red one today. Megan, is there any place you avoid when you are training a young pup? Yeah, grocery stores. Um, uh, diff when I'm going out with the littles, I do a lot of um, quiet play storage unit in Danvers. Um, and then I go to the hospitals and the hotel, the Double Tree, where you guys stay when you come for Dog Fest. Um, just a lot of places without distractions. And then once we get the focus and the eye contact and the basic skills and walking in a straight line, then we introduce public places like the mall, CVS, um, grocery stores. You got to get the focus before you get the distractions. So. Any decision on who's been kept as breeders? Uh, Stowe is a breeder. She lives with a family down the road. They love her dearly. Uh, they think she's just the sweetest thing in the whole world. So, well, that's good. yep, they, they, they just love her. Um, she's behaving well. They have a seven, she lives with a little tiny dog named Olive that's about this big, a 17 and a half year old chocolate lab, and then her. So, your rebel without a cause is so cute with the widow Walter oh, captured a pick below. I'll yes. bet <laughs> you Hyden is trying to copy Walter and figure out a carrying note. He barks him. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Hyden was. A pain in my butt today. <laughs> I was down there and I finally, I had Walter out and he was just, Steve walked by with some food to go feed 910 and Hyden jumped up and knocked the bulls and then was like trying, wouldn't listen to Steve and then I got Hyden away from Steve and um, Walter was standing there just like with this look on his face like tag me in mom, tag me in, like come on, come on, let me do it. And I was just like, <laughs> so I finally like cornered, cornered him and I like shoved him into the arena and I was like Walter attack him like get him <laughs> Walter didn't of course he just ran around but have you or anyone been back to the cafe no I did not go back today because it's pouring rain but I plan to go when it's not downpouring I don't I don't really like going into small places with a wet dog um but I will definitely be busting in there with some dogs and some pamphlets so <laughs> that's for sure uh, it's a really nice place, I and mean, they have a lot of really good food. What can you do to break a dog of insects of constant barking like that? A uh, bunch of different things. I could. We've tried wiffle bat. We've tried yelling. Um, my next step is to throw a bucket of water on him, um, <laughs> and then after that. Um, we might have to take it a little bit more extreme. We might have to get like a vibrating collar or something on him because he's just, it's just repetition. He just does it and does it and does it and does it. And he doesn't even know why he's doing it, I don't think. So he needs to make a connection that that's not okay. Because all the other puppies just sit there. You've been down there. They all just sit there silently and they're like, what's his problem? He's not, nah, nah. <laughs> like, a, it's crazy. I'll try and get a video tomorrow morning. I've noticed the favorite fashion okay. choice is leggings. Since they have no pockets, where do you carry your poo pickers and phones? Uh, I always have them in my jacket. I always have a jacket on. Um, I tuck them. If I have any, I put them in my, like, the band of my pants. Um, everywhere I go, I have a vested dog, and my dog always has poo pickers in there. So leggings are just more comfortable <laughs> to wear around here <laughs> than jeans. <laughs> No. All right, guys. Well, I am going to head out. Um, I'll see you again later this week. And now you can hold on for mail call. I'm going to turn the sound off until Carlene's 100% ready to uh, go live. All right. Bye, guys.
better get me going straight here. There we go. Okay. Oh, damn, damn. I, I feel so guilty. They have the nicest pens. Oh, that's a pin company? Yeah, and it, they have the nicest pens. And for some reason, I'm on their list of mailing stuff. And I, all I can do is, is give them some advertisement because I have no intention of ordering any pens. But I certainly use the ones they send me. And they're very nice. And they're like 59 cents each. I mean, that's, you know, that's very cheap. What do they tell you? Look at that. Beautiful pen. It's 59 cents. Do you want all the stuff that goes with it? <laughs> no. You don't want to order pens. Oh, my word. Wait a minute. We got another one. Same outfit. Same outfit, more things. Okay, so what have we this time? Uh -huh. I don't know what this one is. What is this one? See, it's already... Does that one have a grip on it? Huh? Does that one have the grip on it? It looks like it's got a flashlight on it, if we can figure out how. Oh, wait, give me that for later. One of those probably I ought to read. Oh, look at, the, oh my word. Not like that. I mean, you know, they're nice pens. And I will use it in good health. Put it right in the, right in the slot over here. How much were those going to be? Just out of curiosity. Oh, they're nice. Beaming with potential. Doesn't say how much. Yeah, dollar eighty nine. It still is. You know, it's another one. <laughs> That's the first one you opened. I know. I love them. Sorry, but I'm not buying any. Okay, here's next problem. Next problem. We don't need this. Who is this? Red tags. Harbor Freight. We don't need Harbor Freight. Ugh. In there. Okay, put that on the bottom. And here we have, oh, Hammaker Slever. That's good to read sometimes. Yeah, I'll put that over there for future use. Okay, we're ready. We're ready. We're ready, okay. Jan Gerhold. Let's put this one on this side so I can get my basket out of the way and lean on the thing. There we go. Okay, we are ready. Jan mailed this on the 21st. all went well at the brain convention. Well, it, it certainly did. We had a good time. And the one, the one contact I made that might have done us some good is somebody was there from the Parkinson bunch and they saw my monkey fists and I told them they're from people who had trouble with zipper pulls and they got all excited about the monkey fists and she was going to, she gave me her card which I lost but um at any rate, something might come of that. It would be interesting. According to the Daily Dog, it seems like Carlene had planned well for the trip with all the dogs and people. The play all went at Crazy Acres while they were in Boston. Good job for everybody. Keeping this really short, have to get out for the mail tomorrow. Take care. Please keep up the great work. And thanks for everything. That's from Jan. And we have James. Somebody whose name I can't pronounce. To be or not to be, that's not really a question. Okay? You're right. Hmm. Buddy Hackett. As a child, my family's menu consisted of two choices. Take it or leave it. 
That's not too bad either. I don't mind that one. My dog ate all the Scrabble titles once. He kept leaving little messages around the house. Mm-hmm. Okay. Very good. You can have that one. Always check the envelopes if you would, please. Just to make sure you can throw the rest in the fireplace. <coughs> you always have to check because sometimes strange things happen. Who's this? This is from John. So, boy. Severville? I don't know. Tennessee, maybe? Tennessee. Some name I can't pronounce. Father was in the Air Force. Okay, applicant in the pot. Next. No, I've got his ad. Wait a minute. This we just. He has to put his address in here, doesn't he? Yes. Okay. It's always good to check. Okay. This is a banking thing, so I kept it. Santander Bank, business banking. Either this has been checked before or it's an advertisement, but I can't remember which, so we better open it. Progress starts with the right partner. Get a $500 bonus. Well, they don't, they're not giving it to us. And here we have Harold and Wanda, mailed the 22nd. $2 bill, we got that be all right. We're working on those $2 bills. Getting too far. A geologist exploring an earthquake fell to his death. Oh, through no fault of his own. Oh. Steve would like that one. That's a Steve, that's a Steve one. Yeah. And a geologist exploring an earthquake fell to his death through no fault of his own. Oh, right. That's enough of that stuff. Where we got the boxes? This last one. Oh, I didn't do the last one. Always, always watch me get in trouble every time. Okay, and it's from somebody. David, Hampstead, North Carolina. North Carolina. Bye. <coughs> oh, stop it. <coughs> Don't you do it. Hi. Chaos. Okay. Chaos. Chaos, I'm watching you. Thank you so much. Is this your first time? It's, uh, yeah, first time to do it, yeah. Chaos. Stop it right there. Press the button. Oh, you stay right there. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay. I had to stop her quick. <laughs> Where are you going to eat the guy? Huh? <laughs> the plumber guy bite out of somebody. Yeah. The plumber guy hasn't shown yet. Oh. We might have to interrupt mail call if the plumber guy shows up. Oh, okay. You better look inside that. Don't worry. <coughs> okay, application. This was the... Uh, Okay, we'll go through that at great length. 
Um, I'm going to put it in there anyway. Because that's where Linda finds things. We don't need that one. Yeah. Okay, so what have we here? This is from Sandra Fisher. The umbrella? What is it? It's like Christmas every one time here, isn't it? Also like an IQ test, like how the hell do I get in? <laughs> Oh, okay. Huh? There we go. We got that one open. Blue. We fell apart. Okay, this is to take the place of the shit pickers I've been using. Of your shoes? <laughs> it's a shoehorn. That's good. I, mean, I, I will certainly use it because every morning I need to find a shoehorn because these these uh, strikers that I like have a very weak back and I don't want to ruin it. What is that wonderful? Very long. Thank you. I'll put it up there for the moment. There we go. There you go. I don't know. If there's, there's pieces of paper in there. You want to try and pull them out? That would be a good thing. No more shoe horns, huh? Yeah, there's more paper in there. Let me see the shoe horn. So I don't have to use the shit pickers to put my sneakers in the morning? That's how you put your sneakers on in the morning? Yeah. So I don't break down the back. Well, that's a perfect gift. <laughs> <laughs> I had to think about that one. <laughs> yeah, at, really the ho oh, that's just, at the hospital, I took my shoes off sitting on the table, etc. And go to go home, and Grace has been writing down all my heartbeats or whatever she was writing down on this shit picker, of course, yeah. and uh, come to try and put my shoes on. We had to use the same shit picker to get my shoes on. <laughs> anyway, that's, I thought, pretty funny. It is. Service on project. This is from somebody here. Look out for my knife. Dawn, Orland Park, Illinois. Okay. Missed. Come on. Can't do that. Got it. Got it. Okay. Then we got this one to get someplace in the middle. Dear Carlene, here are the extra peep pillows. <laughs> I said, I would send, I sent them two boxes at the same time, but who knows if they'll show up together. Thank you for everything you're doing for putting a smile on my face every day. Dawn, thank you. This is, this, I know what those are. This I think we're gonna have to use in the calendar business. Look what we got, more of. Peeps. Peeps. with the other peeps that we're saving for the next calendar shot. Right? That's good. Look at that. There you go. Oh my really God. Have to go. Okay. Oh my so word. We've got to be able to do something with all these peeps. Mm -hmm. And we got... Whoop! Whoop! Bunch. Know? And she said the other box is full of them too. I got one up here. Seven in here. Seven in that one? Okay, kitty, go to work. 
between pity and grace. To do something with them. That's from her too. And that's will open that too, right? We're going to play with them. Okay. Okay, am I holding this in the right spot? Linda, am I holding this right? Yeah, the right side up. <laughs> Just thought I'd check. Oh, the back scratcher, the shoehorn, too. Down a little. What exactly did Harold want to send? They send me um, okay. um, shit pickers, but they're always cut from things that sometimes I can talk about and sometimes I can't. So it's really amusing sometimes whatever is in there. You just have to use your imagination sometimes. And they also, they also are brick buyers. Okay. Are we ready for supper? Yeah. Did she say yes? Yes. <laughs> there aren't really. Did the vet come by to check Josie? No. I should remind him. Oh, when our dog's friend ate the Scrabble tile, Hobbs predicted a fast bowel movement. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That's another Stevie. Yeah. Okay, I guess we're about done. Uh, all those, all those, na name of the pen company, anybody? That's Amsterdam. I, I really feel somebody ought to buy some sometime. Even though we don't need many pens, I got pens. My God, I've got pens. Um, but I feel guilty. They send me such nice pens. And they're not expensive either. Oh, somebody started a new job with less viewing ability during the day. Poor choice of jobs. Okay, so I guess we're all done. Okay, night everybody. It's time to eat dinner. Here we go. Offing.